During some vehicle inspections, we also conduct a pesticide product review. This tests the knowledge of the technician about the products he's using. The first question is, what is your name? The next question is, what is the product's name that you're using? Now, for all these questions, you can use the label to answer them. And this one it says, the name is Termidor 80WG. The next question is, what is the active ingredient of this product? On this label, it says Fipronil. The next question on the list is, what is the manufacturer of this product? This also is on the label, BASF. The next question is, is it a restricted use or a general use product? For the restricted use, it would have a block over top of the name saying this is a restricted use pesticide. The next question is, what is the EPA registration number? And it's also on the label, as he pointed to. Then it's, what type of formulation is this product? If you look at the label, it'll tell you what the formulation type is just by the name, where it says 80WG, which is water dispersible granule. The next question is, what is the method of application that you're going to use to apply this product? Sometimes it's a hose sprayer, like this particular one was a spray rig, and he's showing me what piece of equipment he's going to use to apply it. The next question is, how do you mix this product? Now you can refer to the label on this, which it gives you the mixing instructions of this particular product. And it lines it all out so you know exactly how to mix the product to use it correctly according to the label instructions. This is where most, in, most technicians get it wrong, because they don't follow the label instructions on how to mix this product correctly. The next question is, what is the primary target pest or the site of application? And if you look at this particular label, it's a pre-construction site. Sometimes it'll list the insects it controls and how to control a certain insect, but most times our labels are site-specific. The next question is, what is the application volume normally applied? You can also refer to the label for this. Most times this is common knowledge about how many gallons per square feet you would use. The f next question, number 10, is what is the personal protective equipment? This is also listed on the label, and a lot of times this is where the applicators don't use the proper personal protective equipment. He has goggles, he has gloves, he has long sleeves, which are required by this particular product label, and a respirator for enclosed spaces. Now the inspector will document any use of this product that was inconsistent with the label directions.